Hello everyone, I'm Natalie and today I'm going to show you my experiment with CBD infused brownies. Now I've already taken the liberty of putting some things together like inside this brownie mix which is one I used as this one. Um, I, I crumbled up the Ritz chips and the cheese nips. I know it's weird, trust me it's weird, but I am experimenting. I've already put it inside the batter and also what I've done is that I'm going to put in I've already put in a liquid smoke it's you know three little squirts at the most <laughs> and then what else I'm gonna do is I have melted peanut butter and this is a cup of coffee it's cold so I had made a pot of coffee about an hour ago I set this aside so instead of using actual water or milk for the chocolate I'm going to do a recommendation that someone said for me to use coffee, cold coffee. So, and our main ingredients are going to be the thousand milligrams of lemon flavored CBD oil. And there's also going to be one that I'm pouring in that's peppermint flavored. Now I like to kind of spice things up. So I liked to have put in some seasoned salt. Um, peppermint oil since it is the holidays and some black pepper I know people are probably gonna think I'm crazy but you know <laughs> do what I can so first off we're gonna put in the peanut butter that I had it's about ta two tablespoons of peanut butter that I already melted in the microwave so we're just gonna pour it in there get it in there <laughs> work at it right <laughs> Okay, um, and then we're just going to use, I don't, I'll put in the coffee last, so we're just going to put some black pepper, you know, you don't have to put much, and then some seasoned salt, just dabble it in there, and the peppermint oil is the kind that you spray, you get at a pharmacy, um, I use it because it, you know, you can spray it in your coffee and everything. It just tastes great. I just fucking love it. <laughs> anyway, um, what we do is that just two sprays because I don't want to overwhelm it. Well, maybe I have a spore, but whatever. And with this, this is almost full. So I'm just going to put the entire thing. It's lemon flavored. And then this one is almost out. So it's probably less than an ounce by now but I was going to use the one that I used to sleep but that's fine I don't really need to um since this is probably not enough coffee I will be using uh some water cold water refrigerator. that's fine but my main ingredient was going to be like for coffee so and we're just gonna Pour it over there. And then we're going to try to stir it up. So it's about a cup of coffee. About a cup. Just to, just right at it. So it should be fine. I'm going to stir that in real quick. Before I mix in the... Um, before I mix in the um, CBD oil. Which is going to be interesting. Because I've done it before with brownies. It's just... This time I'm going to try, like when I, when I make the mix, and I put it in the pan, which I have already greased with vegetable shortening. I'm going to leave it in the refrigerator overnight. They say that if you refrigerate brownie mix that's already prepared, that it makes for a chewier brownie. So I've never tried that before. I mean, I've been cooking since I could pretty much barely walk. And I just never had the recommendation about refrigerating most people when they make brownies they just you know they think to put in the mix right into the oven right so this is actually good if you have like a couple of days or maybe even a week to experiment since it is less than two weeks to Christmas and you know just mix it in there real good and we're gonna dump all of the bottles in there as soon as it's 
mixed in real good. See, it feels kind of crunchy and lumpy, but that's really because of the chips that I used, which is very rare. I mean, a lot of people can actually put in crackers and chips. I mean, anything really goes with chocolate. It's just that I learned when I was younger that with brownies, you can't, you can't use milk. The brownies, it's just, it messes it up bad. <sighs> It's a different consistency, so. so we're gonna see how this thing works out, right? Okay, and now we're just going to put in the lemon flavored. Sorry, just having some trouble. I got it. Okay. Then we're going to dump in this. Lemon flavored. So dump that in. The nice little thickness. The CBD oil. Nice, beautiful. And then, to be honest with you, that might be good enough. <laughs> because the ingredients for brownies usually calls for oil anyway. So instead of actually using oil, and it's a lemon flavored CBD oil, which is the first time I had tried that flavor. I usually had tried, you know, regular flavors. But that's probably going to be enough anyway, so. But it's really sweet, so I thought it would be really good with brownies. And while we're doing this, you're just going to see that... I am going to dump it in the pan to put it in the refrigerator and I'll make a second video. So stay tuned for that in the next couple of days.